everyone and welcome back to Contemporary Mama. If you are new, my name is Carolyn. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I hope you will consider sticking around and subscribing and if you do, make sure that you introduce yourself in the comments all the way at the bottom so that I can get to know you. So, I actually can't believe that I'm filming this video today. I had no intention whatsoever of doing a summer Bath and Body Works haul, but I was at the mall a few days ago with my mom and I did pop in because I wanted to get a few more wallflowers since mine were running low. And their sales associates are seriously con artists, <laughs> except instead of stealing your watch or your wallet, they somehow con you into filling your basket with all sorts of products that you had no idea that you needed. So here we are. It's not a huge haul, but it is a lot more than I intended on buying. So I'm gonna go through it all with you right now. So everything really started getting out of hand when I found out that they had a brand new scent. So since it was new, I felt like I had to get in on it early or something. And I really do love the scent and I bought a couple of the products in it. So it is called Gingham and it is so light and crisp. I absolutely love it. The notes on it say it includes blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine with essential oils. Oh, it's just the perfect combination of floral and fruit. I think anyone would like it no matter what type of scents that they typically prefer, which I think would make it a perfect gift as well because I do think it's pretty universal and everyone will love it. I was reading some of the reviews. This is the candle, obviously. And they say that the candle doesn't um, doesn't have a very strong scent, so I think that I might keep this in my bedroom um, instead of on my first floor since it is an open concept. But I will let you know maybe on Instagram um, how strong this seems to carry. So in the gingham scent, I also got their little travel size perfume. I do have a lot of perfumes, so I didn't want to get the full size. But now I'm actually really regretting it because I do love the scent so much. I've already been using this. And then I also got the little hand cream. This is perfect since I'm a nurse. I can bring this to work and keep it in my pocket. We have to wash our hands all the time. And usually we use that alcohol Purell that really dries your hands out. So this will be perfect for bringing to work. And then I also got their moisturizing body wash. I've never used their body products, I mean, not since like high school, so I thought I would give it a try, and I just also wanted to mention I love the packaging on this um, with the blue gingham, obviously. It just matches so well with their um, like bags and logo that they have on their store. It just almost seems like this is going to be their new signature scent. Okay, so next let's talk about the wallflowers, since that is the real reason that I went in. So the wallflowers, I was able to get a new plug-in, and this was free, which is why I got it. Um, but it's just like a pretty basic blue striped wallflower plug-in. And then, of course, I got the gingham wallflower. Um, if I'm going to put the candle in my bedroom, I'll probably put this in my bedroom too, just so the two sets um, go together nicely. And then the next one that I got is coconut sandalwood. And you'll hear me talk about coconut a lot. It's one of my favorite scents, especially in the summer, of course. And the sandalwood in this really makes it uh, a more unisex scent. So it's not like you're smelling a pina colada, but it's so relaxing, I love it. Okay, so next is Tiki Beach. And this has coconut notes in it as well, but it also has vanilla and orchids, which I just think blend together so beautifully. It definitely gives you a nice beachy scent. And then the next one is called At the Beach. And yes, this has more coconut in it, um, but it also has sea salt in it. So it definitely gives you that relaxing beach vibe as well. And then the last one that I got is called Coastal Watermelon. And this smells just like a big piece of juicy watermelon, but the sea salt notes in it cuts the sweetness a little bit. I bought the watermelon lemonade candle last year and I did love it, but I love this even more. It's just the perfect summertime scent. Okay, so next let's talk about these hand soaps. And I did actually need these. Mine are running pretty low. So the first one that I picked up is called Kitchen Lemon. And the notes on this say zesty lemon, sparkling citrus, and Italian bergamot. Or bergamot, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it is a, like an orange citrusy smell. I looked it up last night. This has just such a fresh 
um, lemon scent, obviously. Um, I love having citrus smells in my kitchen. I don't know why, I just think it really makes my hands feel clean, especially after cooking. So this is gonna be for my kitchen. I'm not sure exactly where the other ones are gonna go. Um, they're pretty similar though, so it doesn't really matter. This next one is called Beach Cabana, and the notes on it say jasmine, orange blossom, and warm sand. This is, it's almost like a really clean smelling scent. So if you like scents that are like the crisp, clean linen, like a light and airy scent, you'll really love this. Almost like you just did laundry at the beach house. It smells so good. Then the next one, this is called Turquoise Waters, and the notes on it say bergamot, daylily, and sea spray. So good. This again has the citrus and the floral scents and they blend together so beautifully. So again, I think this is a really universal scent that everyone is going to love no matter if you prefer citrus or orange. Citrus or floral scents. Then the next one I picked up is called Perfect Beach Day. And this one, the notes say watermelon, coconut, and sparkling bergamot. This is such a fruity smell. Obviously, you can tell based on the notes, it's so sweet smelling. I think I'm gonna put this one in my kids' bathroom. They love those fruity smells. And then the last one I picked up, look at how pretty this is. It's called Honolulu Sun, and the notes on it read Fresh Island Coconut Pacific Palm and Driftwood. This just gives such tropical beach vibes, like you're at an all-inclusive resort. It almost has, it almost reminds me of those really yummy smelling sun, uh, sunscreens that you wear in the summer. Um, I love this. I think this is actually gonna go in my sink in my master bathroom. All right, so that is it for this video. I know it was short and sweet, but I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you are planning on heading to Bath & Body Works anytime soon to pick up any of their summer scents. They have a lot of new ones out. Um, and then let me know what you think of this gingham scent. If you have been there, if you have smelled it, and if you bought any of the gingham products. I am going to see everyone on Thursday with a brand new video. Make sure that you subscribe before you leave and give this video a big thumbs up. If you have ever been conned into getting a ton of Bath & Body Works products that you never intended on buying. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!